today was a very interesting day and I learned a huge lesson and I basically wanted to make this video to share this lesson with you so today to be honest I didn't want to work I started my agency uh, as a beginner and I am done in this time where I'm I'm doing a lot of cold calls I'm not getting any clients I'm not getting the results I want and basically because I've been doing cold calls and I have been getting clients and I fa and I face a lot of rejection today I didn't want to work I didn't have the energy and I wanted to and I wanted to procrastinate really hard but but I didn't and I basically wanted to uh, explain in this video my reasoning why I didn't procrastinate um, and to basically uh, explain how not to procrastinate. Um, first of all, of course, uh, even though I wanted to procrastinate really hard, I still did the I still did the the cold calls. Uh, right now, I need to uh, to keep working to send more DMs. But right now, I'm I'm, I'm doing uh, other things right now. Um, but basically, my the biggest lesson that I learned today is that don't rely don't rely on your motivation, rely on your discipline, because th this is actually very funny because it's one of the advice that we pretty much hear here all the all the time, um, in self development videos and motivation and all that. But it's very different and uh, understanding that advice like intellectually, than emotionally and really being able to apply it and internalize that lesson and the only way no bs the only no bs the only way to really internalize a dislation is to be in that situation where you need to do important work work that you find meaningful related to your goals but you don't have the energy to do that or you don't or you want to procrastinate really really hard and still wake up and do the work. This is the, the only, and do it that consistently. This is pretty much the only way because, well, it is very easy to watch those videos to say, oh, it's super powerful and feel motivated. But the real uh, learning is actually when you are in that, in, in that situation and you need to literally force yourself to, to do the work because your body is fighting against you. So, Pretty much, my, my, important, my most important lesson today is, like I said, uh, don't rely on your motivation, rely on your discipline, because it is very easy to work where when you are motivated, obviously, because you are motivated, you, you feel energetic, you do the work, and obviously, if you are motivated, uh, do the work, obviously, and, and go all in, but don't rely on your motivation, because... Uh, if you rely on your motivation, when you are not motivated, you you probably won't you probably won't do the work. And this is extremely import important because one of the most important thing about about success is consistency. Pretty much, you heard also that advice all the time when it comes to, for example, if you want to be a a, a good entrepreneur and want to really make good money, you want to be good arti a good artist or musician, you need to draw all the time. If you want to be a good a good a content creator, you need to upload very consistently and to show up and be there. And if you rely on the motivation and you don't rely on your discipline and you and your commitment to do the necessary actions to every single day to succeed you're going to be incredibly inconsistent and probably you won't get anything you want because of the inconsistency. And actually you will be in situations where you are not motivated because uh, if as a beginner, uh, even or, or not actually, you will face situations where you fail all the time. And doing the same thing that, uh, and doing those things you will start associating doing the work with uh, with pain, and will start like uh, running away, running away from that pain, even though it's the thing that you need to do. 
So it's going to happen. And if you rely on it or if you rely only on of your motivation, on your motivation, you will you pretty much will be incredibly <laughs> inconsistent. And you won't and you won't succeed. So I think it is is very very important and very key uh, for me to really being able to do the work when you don't feel like working. It's extremely hard. And I learned uh, when it comes to success that pretty much uh, 80% of success is actually mental in the sense that it's a mental battle. It's like doing the cold calls or going to the gym consistently or talking to the girl you are attracted to but you are really afraid to, to talk to her or uploading videos, uh, uh, talking, it's, it's not hard doing it. The real hard thing is actually uh, overcoming the mental battle behind that. That fear of rejection, that fear of, of the pain of working but not getting the result in that moment. That or, or, wor or working really hard and getting this result and and being demotivated uh, being like uh, failing and and still like trying to work any uh, or, or how do you behave when, when you fa when you fail how do you behave where where you finally get your first result and and or your first, or for example your first client and, and have this fear of holy shit Will I be able to deliver the good results that I that I'm promising? Or oh, it's all of the things. It's all mental. It's all mental. And it's very important to really develop a good mindset because actually the acquiring the skills is not that hard generally. Um, doing the things, of course. I mean, it's hard because you need to to work all the time and you need to push your comfort zone and all that but the real hard thing is actually uh, being able to overcome that overcome that mental battle you have constantly so and the only way actually to be able to do that is to have clear how bad you want what you want to achieve and actually push through that pain and and you will and you will get rewarded uh, for pushing that pain so yeah that was my lesson, that was the thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, bye bye, see you in the next video.